You have the basic skills, but your eyes give you away. Become unpredictable. Strike from your subconscious mind. Let your moves flow out from your individual essence. It begins again. All right! Now that's what I'm talking about! Afro Samurai. A gritty action anime from Gonzo starring Samuel L. Jackson. It follows a lone warrior named Afro on a bloody and brutal quest spanning five miniseries episodes, a feature length movie, and a video game. The story takes place in a fucked up fantasy version of feudal Japan, where everyone has a cell phone, cybernetic technology is commonplace, and the music of choice is kung fu movie inspired hip hop. In this world, there are two headbands of power. The number one headband grants godlike ability to its wearer, and only the wearer of the number two headband can challenge the number one. As a child, Afro witnesses the gruesome defeat of the number one, his father, at the hands of a deranged cowboy named Justice. The series follows Afro's quest to avenge his father while fighting off countless contenders who desire the number two headband he now possesses. The visual style is dark and gritty, yet very rich in detail, which matches the animation that is mostly rigid in part due to Afro's stoic nature, but is extremely fluid when it needs to be, mirroring the flow of the title character's actions. With the soundtrack produced by the RZA, who as a member of the Wu-Tang Clan has some gangster street cred, but more importantly has some serious kung fu nerd cred. His passion shines through here, as the music pays homage to sounds and feels of music from great martial arts movies of the past. I'd highly suggest checking out the 2007 miniseries and the 2009 film Afro Samurai Resurrection. The game for PS3 and Xbox 360 I'm more hesitant to suggest as it merely recaps the events of the series in less detail and takes the subtlety out of some of the core story elements, which I feel makes it not a good companion piece for the other media. But hey, its soundtrack is debatably better than the animes and you get to mow down hundreds of goons as the Afro Samurai, so that's cool. I think Afro Samurai has a great potential as a video game franchise, and with the new Afro Samurai title on the way, I have high hopes that Redacted Studios learn from the first game's mistakes and will deliver an experience truly akin to the Afro Samurai universe. And randomly, why not a live action Afro Samurai movie starring Samuel L. Jackson? That would be fucking amazing. Make that happen, Hollywood. You could get Tarantino to direct, he loves that kind of shit. Just make sure the CGI in the Afro looks good. So those are my thoughts on the Afro Samurai series. What are yours? Leave a comment below. And hey, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Once again, this was Fade Dragon here. Peace out.